a lot of people that we have connected with in Slate, they'll never step foot in a church building. And that doesn't mean that they're any less spiritual or that they're not looking for something. The Slate Project is a new kind of Christian community that's both online and face-to-face. -face. We're a tri-denominational church, Lutheran, Episcopal, and Presbyterian, that is both ancient and future. We're ecumenical. In a lot of ways, we're post-denominational. And we're all about com creating community that exists both in Baltimore, but also online. It's trying to imagine what Christianity could be with a blank slate. It's recognizing that a lot of crap has built up over the past 2,000 years. We're trying to wipe away a lot of that crap while still recognizing that there are pieces of this brilliant tradition that we hold on to. We don't have our own building. We meet in borrowed space. We have a dinner church every Monday night. We meet in space that's uh, loaned to us by the cathedral. And we meet in local coffee shops for things like our leadership team meetings, our Bible studies. We are always meeting out in the city because really the city is our church. We get so attached to our buildings, right? And I mean, do we mean what we say? Especially when we say the church is more than the building, the church is the, the community gathered, the body of Christ in the world. I think we, we, we talk that talk really well, but we, we rarely do it. Face-to-face -face is a wonderful way to be a part of a Christian community, but online is also a way to do it, and it's kind of amazing. Throughout a given week, we have almost 10 different ways that people can connect in like real meaningful ways. A whole thing of ministry that you're always taught is know your people, know your congregation. But I think we've also limited ourselves to think that our congregation are those that are sitting in our pews and not recognizing that our congregation is our community. A lot of people in this age, in this 21st century, they communicate online. I wanted that to be a big piece of this, not just to use the internet to be cool or to be hip, but to say, where are people that's where we need to be. We have a tweet chat every Thursday night, and the topic usually has to do with our theme for the season. We recommend that everybody read an article or watch a video, so we have like a common starting point. But we also intentionally include sharing of who we are. We're starting to introduce times to share like prayer requests at the end, so really caring for each other, and then beginning and ending with prayer. So it really is, church happening in real time online with people who are actually all over the world. We have someone who lives in Germany and gets up at 3 a.m. because it's 3 a.m. her time um, and makes popcorn and joins in faithfully every week. Sometimes I think from our pulpits we talk about a lot of fluff and we don't talk about the radical subversive Jesus that countered what culture was saying. A Bible study that we have, we're trying to uh, recover the Bible as a story worth telling to a collection of really unique images of what it meant to follow Jesus in different times and places. Our hope is that through the Slate Project that we're able to tell the Jesus story, but then also tell our own stories and hopefully give people concrete ways in which they're able to live out uh, God's, God's word or God's story. Some would say we are a church without walls. We really try to be that both literally and figuratively. It's really important to us to be trying to intentionally break down the walls that keep people apart. To be where they are and then communicate in a way that they can understand. That's something that's really important to our identity.